Today's film is The Scorpion with Two Tails, originally known as Assassinino El Quimitero Estruzo, released in 1982. The film stars Elvira Audre and Paolo Malco. The music is by frequent Fulci collaborator Fabio Fritzi. It was written by four people, including zombie co-writer Dardano Scherecci, and was directed by Sergio Martino. Fritzi reuses some music from City of the Living Dead in this. Not much else to say here. Martino had transitioned from all-time great giallos in the 1970s to action-adventure films of dynamic quality in the 1980s. Like every Italian Genoa director, Martino suffered during this period, and despite having high production values, his 80s output falls short in the storytelling department, more often than not. Despite a hidden gem or two, which we will get into later on in this marathon, don't change that channel, Two Tales is a typical of Martino's output at this time. Scorpion with Two Tales is a limp fantasy horror taking place within the framework of a meandering police procedural, with only the sights and sounds from 1982 to keep you awake. Everyone looking for an engaging story? of here! None of the characters are well defined and apart from some psychic connection to an ancient death cult, and trust me, that's not half as interesting as it sounds, the protagonist is a wet flannel. Some people describe Scorpion with Two Tails as a giallo, but I put it to you that some people have watched The Case of the Scorpion's Tail and got the two films mixed up. Two Tails doesn't mean twice the fun in this case, and what you have here is just a meandering Indiana Jones ripoff with an episodic plot and a cardboard cutout cast. The only good thing I can say about Two Tails is that the production value is quite high, as is usual for Martino Productions. Cinematography is good, art direction is good, it's a shame that it doesn't have a decent story to attach itself to. Two Tales, in conclusion, is a lacklustre action-adventure film with mystery elements that has no entertaining exploitation or truly spectacular moments. There is enough artistry here to recommend it for Martino completionists, but no good storytelling here to recommend for anyone else. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Tomorrow's film is Spectres.